Facts of Mars, and now we're being told that straight white males uh, should not be allowed to have anything to do with science, basically. It's a couple of feminist idiots. So, we're going to have some fun with this. Go grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, because this is going to be fun. If you're a feminist, everything about modern society promotes injustice in some way, shape, or form. The latest outrage du jour is from a pair of feminist scientists claiming those who incite work from straight white men are promoting a system of oppression. Oh, brother. Well, according to the Washington Compost, geographers Gary Mott and Daniel Cocking argued in a recent paper that doing so also perpetuates what they call white heteromasculinism, which they described as a system of oppression that benefits only those who are white male, able bodied and economic. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Heterosexualist, cisgendered, I don't even know what that is. Oh, in parentheses, cisgender describes people whose gender identity matches their birth sex. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is precious. My, <laughs> Carrie, my um, professor at Rutgers University, in New Jersey, and Kakane, who teaches at the University of Waterloo, Ontario, argued that scholars or researchers disproportionately cite the work of white men thereby unfairly adding credence to the body of knowledge that they offer while ignoring the voices of other groups. <laughs> this isn't about... <laughs> this isn't about your skin colors, but the quality of the research. Other groups like women, black, and black male academics <laughs> I can find any number of research papers by either group. Although citation seems mundane practice, feminist professors argued that citing someone's work has implications on his or her ability to get hired, get promoted, and offered obtain tenured status among others. This is Important research has drawn direct attention to the continued underrepresentation and marginalization of women, people of color, to cite narrowly, to only cite white men or to cite a stamp of scholars, does a disservice not only the researchers and writers or others by white hetero masculinism they wrote in paper. Easily in the journal Gender, Place, and Culture. <laughs> this one is good. Campus Reform was first to report on a study published by Martin Cockeen, NASA researchers, if they were possible. Straight white men were often cited because they represent a substantial part of academia. Unsurprisingly, basic arithmetic proved unconvincing. Campus reform <laughs> inquired as to whether the citational disparity may simply reflect the relative preponderance of white men in the field, but Kaki even rebuffed that suggestion, saying the point we are trying to make is that the important research done traditionally by by traditionally marginalized voices is often ignored <laughs> by mainstream well-established authors, authors, which means in geography, at least, white male Marxists. Oh my god, I can't, I, I can't go on. I'm sorry, I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm laughing too hard to read this, folks.
unbelievable. I'm on the fact Mars. I better quit while I'm ahead. Thanks for watching.